What's going on guys, it's Tyler here, and in today's video we are talking about the big trade that just happened. Um, I'm going to start doing a new type of video on this channel guys, I'm going to start doing sports talk videos because I always have sports opinions and I never have anybody to tell them to except for my dad, even my dad was just like, like he would talk, talk to me about the trade for like 10 minutes, then he goes, well it's not my money, it's not my team, so what do I care who went where, and I'm like, okay, well why did you just talk to me about it for like 10 minutes and look it up on the phone. Anyways. I digress. So I'm gonna start doing sports talk videos. Um, it's something I like to start doing. You know, Giants. Um, I'm not Giants, but baseball, basketball, football, MMA would be the four things I talk about. And you know, it's some. It's be more content for you guys. It'd be fun for me to do. And I figured there's no better uh, topic to start off on than this topic. So let's get into it. The Los Angeles Clippers have traded. Blake Griffin to the Pistons, Bryce Johnson, Willie Reed, and Blake Griffin to the Pistons for Tobias Harris, Avery Bradley, Boba Marjanovic, and a first round and second pound round pick. Now that first round pick has protections 1 through 4 for 2018, 1 through 4 for 2019, 1 through 4 for 2020, and it is going to be an unprotected pick in 2021. So it's also worth mentioning that the Clippers are still looking for trades for Lou Williams and DeAndre Jordan. So, effectively, they're gutting their roster. They uh, got some expiring contracts in Avery Bradley and I believe Boban Marjanovic. Nope. Boban um, is in the contract for this season and next season. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they just traded Boban away. Or not traded him away, excuse me. I don't know, I don't want to be surprised if the Clippers just wave the rope on. Because he makes 7 million this season, 7 million next season. Tobias Harris is making 16 million this season and 14 million 800 next season. So, those guys are not um, expiring, but Avery Bradley's is expiring. So, that's good for them. They can clear 20 million. And it's not like they really need to clear anything because, I mean, they're tanking, so it's not like they're going to have a team that's going to be attractive for a big free agent to come. But regardless, um, so let's get into this trade. So, like I was saying, the Clippers effectively are building their roster. Now, I was a little confused when I first read this trade happen because, say, hypothetical starting five of Milos or I'd say Lou Williams because he's been so good. So we'll just go Lou Williams, Avery Bradley, Tobias Harris, Danilo Gallinari when he comes back, and DeAndre Jordan. That's actually a killer starting five. That's a versatile scoring lineup. DeAndre Jordan, Avery Bradley, good defensive duo, but obviously that's all for not. I was going to say, I made the point to my dad before I found out that Lou Williams and DeAndre Jordan were available for trade, which, I mean, there's been rumors all year, but now that we know that they are trading him out for sure, I told my dad, I said, it's kind of weird, they're making like a win-now move, trading for Tobias Harris and Avery Bradley, but they got no chance of winning now, so I don't know why they're trading for those guys. Obviously, it's just for Avery Bradley's expiring. They're getting rid of Lou Williams, getting rid of DeAndre Jordan for young picks or young players and picks. Pistons, they get Bryce Johnson, Willie Reed, and Blake Griffin. So right now, we're looking at a starting five of potentially Reggie, say, just say Reggie Jackson. They don't have a starting shooting guard anymore, so it's going to be probably Luke Kennard. Stanley Johnson slash Reggie Bullock. They need to give Stanley Johnson a chance. Stan Van Gundy's been bashing Stanley Johnson in the media any chance he gets. So, you know, I don't know. I, I really am not a fan of how Stan Van Gundy's been handling Stanley Johnson. I feel like Stanley Johnson hasn't had much of a chance. Uh, maybe this is a chance. Tobias Harris is gone. But either way, we're looking at a starting lineup of Reggie Jackson, Luke Kennard, Stanley Johnson slash Reggie Bullock. Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond. Now, we've already kind of seen the Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond thing play out with Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. I mean, I don't really know. My shirt's like off. I'm not really sure what you can do differently. I mean, Andre Drummond is basically a younger, probably a little bit more athletic version of DeAndre Jordan. The only difference is he probably has a little more of an offensive game than DeAndre Jordan. Like, his offensive game isn't literally just catching dot lobs, but it's pretty close to where it might as well be. Um, and so, how do I feel about this trade overall? It's kind of a do-nothing trade. I mean, obviously, we see the Clippers side of things. 
they don't go in young. The piston side of things, I don't know if they think this is a win now move or a contend now move or what they think they're doing. Um, because they're not going to contend with this team. It's almost kind of like the Pelicans in a way. You got two big men and the rest of the team stinks. Now, with that being said, if the Pelicans had Luke Kennard or Stanley Johnson, they'd be loving life. But they don't. So it's not that bad. But you're looking at a team where your two best players are big men. They need a better they need another point guard. And they need Luke Kennard to make that jump to being a, a good shooting guard what they drafted him for. Blake Griffin's got a five year deal. For some reason I thought he signed a three year deal, but Blake Griffin's got five years, twenty nine point five one two nine hundred thousand. Twenty nine million dollars for Blake Griffin, he keeps getting hurt. And they're gonna have no room on the cap. They're gonna, they're gonna have no room to make to make signings. So they gotta hope that they're a starting, you know, they gotta hope that Reggie Jackson, Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond are gonna be like serviceable. I don't know. Don't ask me. I mean, no, don't don't get me wrong. Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond are great players, but for what they got going, I mean, they're basically kind of stuck in with what they got. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, give it a like, leave a comment, tell me how you feel about me doing sports talk videos, I'd love to do more. Um, so leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll make more of these in the future uh, about baseball, basketball, football, MMA, whatever. So anyway, that's been the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Trade news! Ah!